the eruption started late last night, Hawaii time, up at the summit caldera, uh, and has now uh, seems to have quieted down up at the summit and opened up on the northeast rift zone. And they have some lava flows uh, heading down that northeast side of the volcano, luckily not near any one at this point or anything really, but uh, it's the first eruption at Mauna Loa for almost uh, 39 years at this point. And it's uh, not unexpected in the sense that Mauna Loa is probably one of the more active volcanoes on the planet, but it's also, uh, I don't think it was expected to happen right at this moment, although there have been signs that it was heading towards something new uh, based on some of the earthquakes that they measure underneath the volcano. It was getting restless, and then it got really restless quite quickly before this eruption uh, last night happened. And these volcanoes are being fed by a, what they call a mantle plume, which is just a area of hot rock underneath the volcano that stretches down thousands of kilometers into the, into the earth. And that hot material rises towards the surface as a solid hot rock that then melts when it gets closer to the surface. So maybe 10, 15 kilometers beneath the surface of the earth. And when it melts, it makes lava, makes magma more properly for it when it's underneath the, underneath the ground. And that lava then moves up uh, through the crust, the ocean crust that Hawaii sits on and volcanoes form. So this has been happening uh, for the Hawaiian hotspot for tens of millions of years, where you get these volcanoes forming over this hotspot that's kind of like a match sitting underneath uh, a piece of paper, and you move the piece, piece of paper along, and it kind of burns a track through the plate. And the current location is underneath the big island of uh, Hawaii. So there is the potential for lava flow hazards if the eruption continues and lava flows can make it that far down the slopes of the volcano. Uh, there is also some hazard from ash. I know that uh, some airlines have uh, delayed or canceled flights out of Hilo for ash hazard because you don't want ash to get into jet engines. That's a bad mix. Uh, and then there's the hazard of volcanic gases to make what they call VOG, this volcanic fog that uh, can be bad for your respiratory tract because uh, it's it's got droplets of acid in it. So there's a number of hazards, nothing right now that would be you know life-threatening, but if the civil defense uh, in Hawaii wants people to evacuate, uh, they'll let people know and you should follow their directions. <laughs>